beautiful beings. I came on here today just to relay a message um, that has come through quite strongly in the past few days, in the past week actually. Hello, welcome to everyone. Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hi, good day, good morning. I know it's a little bit early in the US, so I don't know if I'm catching any of my American followers. Um, but I've really just come on to relay an important message that has come to my attention in the past week or so. I'll post a reel about it too, but I just wanted to speak about it here. So, guys, stop draining yourselves trying to help people who don't want to be helped. It's kind of like always the same story, you know, it's someone you love and you care about or even a client, they come to you, you know, they're desperate, they need help and whatnot. And then you actually end up depleting yourself, um, helping them. And, you know, half the time the stuff isn't going through. They're not in a space where they're receptive enough. So really, really checking in with yourself and saying, is this going to be more detrimental to me than anything else? It's kind of like, this is what I like to call energy triage. And I do mention this in the reel that I'll post as well. It's like the energy that you're putting into one person, okay, into assisting that one person who isn't being receptive. How many people can you help with that energy? How much can you assist on a collective level? You know, um, so really, really balancing out from an objective observational space. Is it worth it? Is it, I mean, never underestimate the, you know, power of planting a seed. Um, so I still think, you know, you should obviously give it a try, but then when does the self-preservation kick in? When do you know when to set your boundary? For me, I don't really waste any time um, anymore because there's a lot of people that, you know, I mean, it's a little bit different, I guess, because if I'd have to reply to everyone, you know, who asks me for help um, for free, then I'll never get to the end of it. But even if you're not doing this professionally, if you're here, you're still an energy worker, you're still starseed, you're still assisting on a collective level just by being you. But then when you, when you want to assist from kind of like a higher purpose, a better understanding, a better perspective, um, you need to do that from a space where you are whole. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You know, empathy without boundaries is really self-destruction. And that is probably one of the smartest things that I've ever heard and said. So write it down if you need a remembrance, write it down. Um, understand where your limit is and where your boundary is and think of it this way. I'm now wasting five hours trying to explain to my mother that aliens exist, whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? And she's not listening. She's not open. She's, I'm trying to show her photos. Um, I'm showing her things. I'm showing her this chick with red hair that speaks to aliens. She still doesn't believe me, you know? So then why is it important for you that she believes you? Is it some validation? Is it some self thing? So this is where the self-analysis comes in and the self-assessment. Are you doing it for yourself? Is it ego? Are you doing it because you want them to heal? Are you doing them because you want them, you want to help them? You can't do it for them, you know? And again, are you looking for validation? Oh, they're going to get better. I'm a good energy worker. I'm a good person. I'm a good human. So really going deep, 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 deep into your own programming and your own process of helping and assisting and seeing where it comes from a space of lack, because that's where it comes from. It's like, oh, I'm not good enough. I need to help them and they need to get better so that I can feel good enough about myself. Okay. So that's what it comes back down to. That's where it anchors and circles back around to and goes back in. Is it an, a lack that you have within yourself? And that's generally what it is, because when there's a lack of boundary, there is a lack, you know, of an understanding um, within the self as well. Um, yeah, and then someone here made like a point, you know, feeling guilty. No, you don't feel guilty. You can't control other people's journeys and, you know, you want them to come with you. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. 
Um, you can always connect to the higher selves and assist them in that way. This is going to assist with guilt, um, shame, and fear programming release. So, yeah, guys, just ask yourselves, are you doing it for them or are you doing it for you? Um, are you doing it, you know, for a higher purpose, for a better understanding? Um, I mean, it's great to help others. Please don't get me wrong. Like, you know, my, that's what I do my whole life. <laughs> And I love it, and it's, um, but if this gets taken away from me tomorrow, I'll still be fine. I don't need it. It's obviously, like, I enjoy doing it, and I love it, and I'm happy and grateful every single day to do what I do. But I don't need it. I don't identify with it. So is there attachment to identity, to assisting people? Is it because then you want to feel useful? Is it, you know, and it's okay if it's like that. Like, there's no you know, right or wrongs, but then if you can't do this anymore, then will you still be okay? So self-assessing where there is attachment to that, because, you know, this, that's what it always goes back to as well. Yeah, so I'm seeing it a lot. And what I learned and understood in my own experience as well is kind of like when you come into a higher understanding of emerged consciousness with unity consciousness and with source consciousness, right? So when you come into that divine union with a higher part of self or whatever it is, call it whatever you want to call it, then the individual matters to a certain extent the collective matters more. So that's where kind of like, this is how I work as well, guys. People work differently. Um, for me, I always put it this way, like how can I contribute in a way that is helping more people in a shorter amount of time? You know, um, obviously I still do my one-on-one -on -one works and I still enjoy my one-on-one -on -one with my clients. But when I'm doing kind of like free work or collective work or work for everyone, then for me, it's important to reach as many people as possible. And if I get a, you know, an inbox from someone asking me, telling me their life story and asking me to help them, um, I just say to them, thank you for your message. Please, you're welcome to go book a session from my website. And then most of the time people say, great, thank you. Some of the times they don't reply. And then sometimes I get attacked. Oh, um, why are you not answering my question? Why are you not helping me? You know, why are you so... It's kind of, I mean, I don't have to obviously defend myself. Like it's not, it's not, this doesn't come from like a defense or anything like that. It's just, you know, an observation and understanding of <laughs> how humans tend to work sometimes, you know, because they like, they try and they'll try, they'll try with you. They'll try with your family members. They'll try. And that's where your boundary comes in. That's where your self-preservation, that's where your self-love comes in. Like, and saying like, no, actually I cannot give you this time. I cannot give you this attention. In the time that I'm going to give you for free, I can help uh, 56,000 people on my channel by posting a video that is doing a clearing or assisting another. So do you see do you see where it comes from? So it, this is why I call it triage because any of you, you know, in the medical field or seen, you know, the movies, you see that it's like an emergency and they're like, okay, no, we're saving this one first and that one first, you know. And then obviously if I do have time, it does happen. Sometimes I get called to, sometimes I get messages um, from people really, really in need and I'll get told by higher take this reply to them. Um, so I will do so. I don't always, you know, like have a standard response. And when you do message me, if I do respond, it is me. I don't, no one else uses my Instagram. I don't have an assistant who, you know, has access. It's, it's me. It's me that you're speaking to. Um, so, so yeah. So I guess guys just really 
checking in with yourselves. Does it feel in alignment? Does it feel good in my heart center to help in this way, to assist, or is it going to drain me? Um, is it going to be too heavy for me? Do I not have the physical, energetic, and mental capacity to hold that now? You know, checking in with yourself. You are your priority. Remember that. You are your priority. Not your husband, not your wife, not your father. Okay, your kid. Like, I'll give you the kid because I've also got a kid. So <laughs> I'll give you that the kid can come first. But when it comes for energy work and things like that, um, if you're not 100% solid, grounded, supported within yourself, you're going to struggle with helping anyone. And people are going to take, this is the test. This is part um, of, of, of you stepping into your power, learning to say no. If you struggle with the boundaries, guys, overstep them. Put more boundaries. Say no more times. Always out of love. Always out of compassion. Um, but over put your boundaries. Rather than taking them down, put more. And then slowly, you know, take them down. Um, yeah, this is the reason why moms are the greatest. <laughs> yes, guys, I agree with that. So, so yeah. Mm. What service do you feel I need to help me forward? So, guys, if any of you want to book with me the first time, take the full Reiki cleansing. It comes with energy work and some one-on-one -on -one Zoom time as well. Still tickets available for the Metatronic Grid Activation Workshop. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited. I can't say much, but I'm so excited. <laughs> They're sending me so much stuff. Like, I cannot wait for it. Um, and that'll be the 4th of April. I will close sales at some point when I sell out. So there, but there are still tickets available now for $66. Tickets available for my collective healing on the 12th of um, March. So we're just in March now. I'll send out the newsletter in the next day or two. And also, guys, um, what else did I want to say? I want to say something. Oh, yes, my in-person workshop on the 15th of April in Cape Town. And I still have, like, I think two or three spaces left for the masterclass on learning how to channel. That one's at the end of March. I think it's, like, the 30th or 31st of March. So I have a few tickets left for that one if you want to connect um, with that as well. And then, yeah, I've got a lot of exciting news coming up. Um yeah guys i've got a lot of interviews a lot of people that i'll bring on as well i can't i can't say everything but i've got yeah i've really got a lot coming up okay i'm gonna pull through a little bit more and then i'll go this is gonna help with clarity and your higher chakras clearing sinuses clearing the third eye Clearing the crown and peripheral structure. Kiera to kuma in chena siera takra. Trie to kuka kriesa to kukie chera siera tik aro truk umara tri ie siera tuk ora i siera ta. Ntia tik una ie tara sie ka to moro kiera tik ara tri sek ot a krie tsara i siera takra. Trei ma tik ura ie i sie tuk ura tri a tri a tsero a tik ana tri et ma ie i siero tuk una ie tari. Trei a tie to roko siera takie tuk a kera tia chero siera tik ana tri e ma rie tuk ara i siera takri. Ndreo tuk ura trein ra tuk o sie saro tuk ura ie i chie takri e naratra. Yeah, and just a gentle um, reminding, <laughs> what is the spiritual meaning of, of, of burping? It's just a release, guys, coughing, burping, gagging. That energy needs to go somewhere when it gets transmuted, and it's just a release of it. Um, so, guys, please, 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 if you want to help me, um, please share my content, save it, um, comment, like. The reason I say that is because um, I'm a little bit stuck in the algorithm and I really want to try and reach more people. I was growing consistently and then um, Instagram changed the algorithm with the new year. So I'm struggling a little bit. So I really do need your help. If you can share my content and um, save it and then, you know, send it to people, share it in your stories and whatnot, just so I can get a, a, a further reach and I can really keep on helping and assisting more people. I want to get to a point where um, a lot of people see my content where I can really make a bigger difference than what I'm already making but I do need your help for that so please guy help guys help me um sharing saving um my content and my reels and things that resonate and interest you okay I will be going live on YouTube on Friday 
So I've got a YouTube live coming up on Friday for the Italians. I'm doing a live tomorrow in Italian on um, Elena's profile. So um, if you want to connect through with that, I will see you there. I am saving this live. Yes, it will be on. So if you've missed the beginning, you can see it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to each and every one of you. I hope this message is well received. I speak always from the heart, always from compassion, always from love. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you from my heart to yours. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye.